Welcome to Vaping and Brew with Becca and Drew. Hi, and welcome to Vaping and Brew with Becca and Drew. This is my beautiful wife, Becca. Hi. 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 And my name's Drew. Um, We've been married for four months. It's awesome. Uh, Today's vape is a black currant liqueur. Uh, It's very, very complex... uh, blend. I really enjoy it. Um, got my vaporizer here. And oh yeah, our tea just finished steeping. Uh, and today's kinda... brew is lemon zinger. <laughs> and so that's what we're going to try tonight. Hopefully without the top falling off. <laughs> yeah, you should hold that on. Teamwork. Amen, Jesus. Yeah. Teamwork. Teamwork. Ooh, it smells really good. Oh, it's so hot. I'm burning my hand right now. I'm burning my <laughs> fucking hand. What a baby. I did it in like 10 seconds. Dang. <laughs> oh my, that smells so good. Okay. What do you, what, what's on your mind today? Let me pick your brain. What are you thinking about? What's What what's, are our topics for today? Yeah, I don't know. What, what okay. are you thinking? Well, I think our first subject would be movies. A movie review I had in mind. Godzilla. I did watch Godzilla the other day. Um, what did you think of that? Fuck. Godzilla. <laughs> um, it was kind of sketchy. I thought it was, um, a little bit, uh, no, it, it's, it's, um, let me, okay, let me get into the mode, okay? Godzilla. It started out, um, slow. Overall, I think it was just kind of... Lame. Didn't like it. It was very disappointing. Godzilla, the 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 creature, it uh, it, it looked horrible. Like it, it didn't look big. Like I was expecting something like Cloverfield, and like have it be like they they it was something more modern day and awesome. Something yeah, absolutely. scary, not it, something. It was, it was hyped as being this Cloverfield esque kind of mystery, like kind of like oh you don't get to see him, oh you do get to see him. Like I honestly, I when I saw him, I'm like. I, I was thinking, I'm like, that's got to be Godzilla's baby or something, because it was just so unimpressive. It was just, it was lame. And um, I wouldn't watch it again. I wouldn't advise watching it. It was, it was, <laughs> I said, if we can take one thing away from this movie, <laughs> is that Godzilla loves America. <laughs> and and the American Godzilla loves America. We, 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 we there's no disputing it. He fought for America America let him recede back into the ocean. They 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 didn't even know why. He's he's I just. I think the 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 major letdown for me was the acting. Oh my god. It was horrible. Oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> um, for example, there's this one scene where the woman is supposedly trying to run away from. Godzilla and Mothra. Well, it's not Mothra re- though. It's like some other thing. It's it, like it's like a crossbreed of like, Mothra. Yeah, they and called a him Mothudu or something like that. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but and go on, go on. She, well, she's running and she's running like, oh, ah, a Godzilla, yeah. And when like, okay, if you're gonna run from Godzilla, fucking run, like I, you mean it. I had a thought, <laughs> and it's okay. I, I think they wanted to represent American Godzilla. The people of America as more. I don't think it has. Let me speak. Shit to do with America. <laughs> no, I, I think I think that because it was produced in America, it was it, it, it took place the majority in America. I think they wanted to represent Americans as being more strong and confident as the uh, traditional Japanese. Oh, Godzilla! You know, like the 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 horrified, dumbfounded characters that the, they were portrayed in the old-fashioned Godzillas, I feel as though they were going for a more... Uh, so I don't think it's casting. I think it's more directing. I think he probably just said, hey, don't look so afraid of Godzilla. What? Who is not afraid of Godzilla when you see a fucking... He, okay, he because the, had an American flag bandana on. It is on. beyond human comprehension. A giant monster <sighs> dinosaur thing, whatever you want to call the lizard thing. He's a toad. <laughs> okay, whatever you want to call Godzilla. So when she's like pretending like to run away, 
she's like running away with a less sense of fear, but yeah. a sense of oh look. Oh, don't get me wrong, a monster. I, I am. Oh. Fu- I, okay, I'm fully with you because yeah. I, I. It was just horrible. I I agree with you in the sense that as a art piece and not a um. No. This is really gross tea. And needs some sugar. <laughs> nope, no sugar for you. Oh, why no sugar? It's it's gr- it's really bitter. It I bitter will agree that if, if I if I were watching it just uh, without any of my kind of not philosophical but but just kind of understandings of how people frame things and how movies are made and what they represent and all that, I would probably agree with you and say yeah that was really lame and it was lame to see her run from. Godzilla or the moth bug creature just like like oh no it's the thing that's could murder me I'm just gonna flee well, you know it's like a, there's also a couple of scenes in the movie where there's it's supposed to be like an emotional oh, reunion the, um, between oh, the ki- the mom the, the mom and the, the, well, dad. the dad's main character the main character the dad and she finally sees him she, after this no, supposed so long okay, period of she, time she disappears from her son their son and him, the wife, when they're reunited, she hugs the son like this, like, just like, okay, see you later. She sees her husband. She's like, oh. No, she and wasn't even like that. She no, was just with, like, no, good to see you, man. Yeah, no, like, the, 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 the boy was just like, like, fuck, you, fuck out, fuck out. Just get out of the fucking way. I, I know, I know there's dragons loose. Just get the fuck out of the way. And, like, I, I don't know what that means. I don't know, I don't know what that symbolizes. I just okay. found it. Sad. What? 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 So what, our, another topic, uh, or no, do we conclude um, yeah. this? Or? Our okay. conclusion: movie sucks. Uh, horrible acting. Twelve beams out of a million. Monsters. Fucking horrible. Don't see Godzilla uh-huh. unless you want to see Godzilla. One thumb up. <laughs> um, Go America! <laughs> yeah, if, if you're if you're an America nut and you're intelligent enough to see symbolism, uh, and you love Godzilla. Go see Godzilla waving the American flag behind <laughs> his back because you will love it. Okay. But, um, Top- okay, topic two. What do we got? Topic two. All this fucking snow. <laughs> we live in Minnesota, and it, it's November, what, uh, uh, 2940 foot? <laughs> I don't know what, it's the... It's the it, 13th today. It's the 13th. And it's November, and it's got, we've got like eight inches of snow out there. It's ridiculous. Like, I love it. We feed the birds. We have a bird feeder right outside our window, our living room window. And uh, we've been um, watching birds. So, crazy folks out there who usually drive like maniacs, be careful. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no. Um, If you got snow on the road, go slow. Driving 30 through 65. I I, I was going 70. (laughs) I, I got there in 35. So, anyways, Minnesota proverb. There's a Minnesota proverb that goes... You sh- it's better to be going slow wishing you were going faster than going too fast and wish you were going slower, which I find to be true. I drove home like an old woman. I drove home like an old woman. I drove home like an old woman. What else do you got for me? Topic number three, apple fritters. We were going to make apple fritters today. Really easy. Didn't make them. Lazy. Probably should make them. We made, hey. we made tea, though. Here, let's clean it. <laughs> Look at my um, cock cup. It's um, got a rooster on it. Two roosters. Both cocks. <laughs> this is my artwork. Hey, give me some coffee. It's called Hell. It's uh, three circles interacting. Shouldn't you? No, no, don't that? touch it. Don't oh, touch it. Oh, okay. No. Well, I guess I could show it. I don't know. That'd be Why okay. Why not? Okay, I'll show it. Okay, this is okay. We're gonna lose. You're gonna lose feedback from us in a minute. It's called hell because I was um, looking at. I was looking. You know, I was in the Barnes and Noble, and I was uh, looking through an art book, and I uh, stumbled upon a page of hell, and this this image popped into my head just like a, in, in my mind's eye just a mental image of this drawing and I so that's why I entitled it hell it's one of my favorite pieces thank you for <laughs> wrangling me in I'm gonna put this on we up there okay <laughs> okay topic four yeah there we go 
You want to fix it? Okay. Yeah, it kind of bugs me. If it's Push crooked. that edge. No, it's fine. It looks fine. Don't touch it. God damn it. It, it was fucking crooked. No, it was fucking perfect. No, it was not. The feedback. They'll see it. You'll see how uncrooked it was. Okay, just leave it. <laughs> From all of us at Vaping and Brew with Becca and Drew, we wish you the best. Uh, from our family to yours. Um, Have a wonderful night. Merry Christmas. What? It's not Christmas. <laughs> it's almost Christmas. No, it's almost Thanksgiving. That's a misnomer. What? No, this, this is gold. These are the, these are the moments. These are the moments.